Sir, like in terms and coefficients. In? Ha ha. In terms and coefficients yes, sir, like that. Clear. It's clear. And yes, how sir. we are, how addition takes place between the uh, expressions. Is that also clear? Yes, sir. Okay. And regarding the like terms and the unlike terms? Yeah, like terms and unlike terms. So do tell one more thing to me. Like you have got the like terms and the unlike terms. Yes, sir. Unlike terms and like terms. So between the unlike terms and like terms, hmm. which of the following operation can be done? Addition, subtraction. Which of the following or which of the followings? Right? There could be more than one answer. Excuse which me, of sir. the following operations can be done? Yeah, Arhan. Sir, do we have to use identity in this question? You have to, do you have to use identity? No, I don't suppose even without using the identity, you can solve this question. There's no need to use identity. Since I haven't devised that part of the chapter, so I won't be giving from the, that part of the question. From that okay, part, sir. I won't be giving question. Okay, now. Okay, sir. Yeah, so most this question is particularly for you. Yes. Between a like term and an unlike term, which of the following operations can be done? Uh, sir, uh, 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 multiplication and subtraction. Addition and subtraction. Look again. 7xy yes. and 7x square y. Yes. They are unlike to each other. Yes, right sir. Now. For example, <clears throat> have some like term again. Let's say 8xy and 7xy is there. And then you have like uh, 3x cube y. So these two are unlike to each other. Yes. Because the variables, the powers of the variable are different. It is x mm -hmm. raised to the power 3. It is x raised to the power 2. So the power is different. So thereby they are unlike terms. While 8x, y and 7x, y, they are mm -hmm. having same variables with the same power. So thereby they are like terms. As you know that, right? Okay, My question you, to you is that, See, you have taken a like term 7xy and you have taken, let's say, 3x cube y. So between 7xy and 3x cube y, what operations can be done? Can I add the two? Yes, sir. Okay, so you are seeing that 7x cube plus 3x cube y, 7xy plus 3x cube y can be added. Okay. Sir. But... But are you not seeing that the power of the variables are different? It's 3 and x1 over here. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. So thereby, they are unlike terms to each other. So addition is not possible now. Oh, okay, sir. Huh? Okay, addition sir. is not possible. What about subtraction? No, that subtraction? is also? No, not possible. While the remaining two are possible or not? Remaining division multiplication. Uh, remaining no sir. They are possible, no Mars. Look here. That is the thing you haven't got. Okay, no. Yeah, be clear Okay. Yeah, what about others? Yeah, uh Arham, Ahmad, you guys done with the given question? No, sir, not yet. Okay, okay. Try solving it quickly. Okay, sir. Okay, Ahmed. Uh -huh. Now, Moz, you pay attention here. Take care. Yes. Sir. <coughs> you have a number. Like this is only Moz has to pay attention to the uh, to the question which I'm solving right now. While you you to solve this question and also do let me know when uh, Arhan joins. So seven x y and five x y. These are two like terms getting it now yes, okay? they are like terms yes, so thereby you could simply add their coefficients and then write the variables as it is so that will be 12 x y so addition was possible right in fact you could subtract them also here you were adding the two now you can subtract them also just as you added the coefficients, so just as you added coefficients, ko add here. you could subtract the smaller coefficient from the bigger coefficient, right? That is 7 minus 5 over here, right? Yes, sir. 
and then simply write whatever variables are written. That is two x y. Okay. So you could do addition. You could do subtraction also. Getting it now. Addition yes. can be done. Subtraction can be done. Another operation like multiplication. Seven x y five x y. The interesting thing is that you could do the multiplication also. You could multiply them as well. So the, you will be multiplying the variables. Sorry, the coefficients first. That will be seven into five. Getting it, Mars. Yeah. Now you will be multiplying the variable part of x y multiplied x y. So that is thirty five. You could do a little bit of, of arrangement. The two x can be written together like this, right now. And y can be written together like this, right? So that will be, so x into x that is what x square now. Mm. Yeah, x yeah. multiplied to itself three times that is x cube, getting it now. Mm. So that is x square, and that is y square, isn't it? So that is thirty five x square y square. So yeah, multiplication is possible between the like terms, getting it now. Mm. As a matter of fact, seven x y can be divided by five x y. So here, since the variables are same, since they are like terms, I could cut the variables thereby. The answer would be seven point five. So hmm. all operations, whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, is possible for the like terms. Then I is got it. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, you got it very, uh, very good, Arhan. And which option you are getting as correct here? The B. Option number B. What about you, Ahmed? Ahmed, hey guys, Ahmed is there in the class? Yes, sir. Uh, Ahmed, please to respond if you are listening to me. You are getting the answer. Okay, okay. Do send the pick of the uh, solution to the counselor. Even whatever uh, you guys have done in your copy, send it, send it back to the counselor quickly. Okay. Okay. Sir. So for like terms, all is possible. Okay, Moz. For like terms, all the operations can be done. What yes. if you were to have two unlike terms? For example, seven x square y and five x y. Are these two like terms? Obviously, no. Hmm. Can you tell me why these two are not unlike terms? Uh, because sorry, seven... why these two are unlike terms? Yes, sir. Because seven has x square, but five doesn't have x square. More specifically, can be said that the power of the variables are different. Yeah. It's two and it's uh, one over here. Yes. If nothing is there, it means one is there. Okay. Hmm. Now, I can I add the two? Yes, sir. The answer is: Can I add these two terms? Can I add these two terms? No, sir. No, addition is not possible. Yes, Can I subtract them? No. no. No, sir. Because the thing is not: If you were to subtract, say, if you hmm. attempt at subtracting the quotient, yeah, Arhan. If I were to attempt at so um subtracting it. If suppose I see seven minus five, so which? this question, this question here, see where I'm pointing this one, this one. If I attempt to subtract these two unlike terms, so how will I be doing? Will I be having any proper method for this? What variable should I be writing here? Should I be writing x square y, huh? Or should I be writing x y? So, uh... There's a conflict between the two now. Uh, no, 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 it's that is not how it works now. No, that is not how it works, uh, Arhan. The variables have to same, only then you could be subtracting them, getting it or not. Yes, it's okay. possible. It's not possible. So, while you have two unlike terms, thereby neither addition, neither subtraction is possible. So is that's that the solution. 
हाँ ओके वेरी गुड नो व्हाट अबाउट मल्टीप्लिकेशन सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर वाई मल्टीप्लाइड फाइव एक्स वाई यस इट्स पॉसिबल आई आई कुड बी मल्टीप्लाइंग सेवन एंड फाइव या एंड आई कुड बी मल्टीप्लाइंग एक्स स्क्वायर वाई विथ एक्स वाई नाउ यस ओके शेल आई इरेज द प्रीवियस वन आई एम इरेजिंग दिस वन ओके x into x into x is x cube, or I can write the same thing as x square into x na, mm. x square into x, right now. Yes, so x square into x is x cube and y square. So that is the answer. So yes, multiplication is possible. Okay, what about yes. division? Is division possible here? Yes, sir. Division is also possible. See. Mm. Understand this thing, you guys. Understand this thing. You have seven <laughs> x square y divided by five x y. So they write seven x square y upon five. Yeah. Kya ham isse separately lik sakte hain. Aida karke seven into x into x x square can be written like this now, right? Yes, sir. Or five x y can I write it like this? Five into x into y. So now, Moz, you tell me which of the no, uh, which of the terms are getting cancelled here? Which values are getting cancelled here? Sir, x and y. Exactly, this x and x gets cancelled, and this y and y. So you are left with. N value is one point four x. Yeah. Ha. In terms of decimal, you can be getting your answer as well. So here, in terms of fraction, you are having seven point five x. Or as our answer, you could be having one point four x as well because seven point five is one point four. So what we concluded regarding the operation done between unlike terms, that hmm. addition, subtraction, they are possible or not? Yes, sir. Regarding the unlike terms, hmm. okay, between the unlike terms, is yes, addition sir. or subtraction possible? No sir, no, not possible. Yes. Sir. Getting it now, Arhan. You yes, also sir. getting these things now. Yes sir. Right, and regarding the multiplication and division, will I be able to do that? Yes sir. Exactly, just like we did right now. Right now. Yes, okay, so hope it is clear now. That was a yes. very fundamental thing. Okay. Now uh, let me have a quick look at. The, and by the way, I haven't received it right now, uh, Arhan. Once I will be receiving your solution for this question, I will be discussing. Uh, I will be having a look at it, but still, I will be discussing right now. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, Ahmed, what about you? Yeah, Ahmed, done. Yes, I can solve it. Okay, okay. Let's do this one. Okay. So this is the following question. Aram, you also pay attention to this question. Yeah, okay, you can also do you. this one. Sorry, uh, uh, I'm saying Moaz. I'm referring to Moaz. Okay. okay. So Moaz, sure. you also pay attention to this question. You can also do this one. Right? Okay. It's not that difficult. Okay. So look at out of the two algebraic expression, the smaller one is this. Right? This is the bigger one. So we have arranged it like this. We have written a smaller expression. How many terms are there in this expression? Yeah, anyone can answer this. How many terms yes, are there sir. in this expression? Two, namely x square and y square. Yes. So while I'll be doing multiplication now, just like how we used to do multiplication like this, ten plus five multiplied by Uh, let's say seven, yeah. So for example, seven was being multiplied with ten here first, and then seven was being multiplied with five, 
and then the two were added. Yes, sir. Right now, guys. Same concept has to be applied. Similar concept will be applied here as well. Here, instead of seven, you have got two terms, namely x square and y square. So first of all, I will be yeah, just now I've got the picture of your solution. So x square will be multiplied with each and every term of this algebraic expression first. Then you will be multiplying y square with each of the terms here, and then you will be adding the two together. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So how many terms are there in the second algebraic expression was? Three, sir. Three. Okay. So let's start to solve this question. So you are getting uh, you are getting option number B as the answer, no? Yes, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Let me see what you have then. Okay. So x square, let's multiply it with the whole expression first. Yeah, and then you will be multiplying. Uh, multiplied by x square and y square. Exactly. So we have broken them apart and then multiplying individually with x square and y square. If you guys are having doubt at any particular step, please do stop me there. Okay. Yes, so let's solve it. X square into 6x cube. Hmm. That will be? 6x5. Uh, right. x raised to the power 3, x raised to the power 2. So that will be added. That is 6 raised to the power 6. Uh, 6x raised to the power 5. Yes, sir. 6x raised to the power 5. You didn't got this thing. No, sir. See, in exponents, it is studied that if you have a value like this, 5x cubed times 7x cubed. Okay. So 5 will be multiplied with 7, that is 35. And x cube will also be multiplied with x cube. But since the base is same, the base is x for both the numbers. So thereby I would be adding the power 3 and 3. So thereby it becomes 35x raised to the power 3 plus 3. That is 35x raised to the power 6. Are you getting this thing now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I also know that two unlike terms when multiplied will be like this. For example, x square times minus y will be minus x square y. Hmm. Uh, it or not? So can it be uh, minus y x square? Huh, no, no issue in that also. Since in the um, uh, alphabetical order, no, x comes first. That's why we write it as x square y. Okay. No. Yes, so that will be now minus x square y right and now x square has to be multiplied with 3x square y x square multiplied 3x square y so for the sake of convenience you can write the coefficient part first then you can write x square and x square and then y like this we have broken right yes sir so the like terms like x square and x square their powers can be added here right Moz, Ahmed, Orhan that will be yes. x raised to the power 2 plus 2 into y. So thereby that is equal to 3x raised to the power 8, right? 4, sir. 4, right? And y. Hope everyone is getting this. Yes, sir. Okay, so that is 3x raised to the power 4y. Also, look here, I have paid attention to the sign also. I haven't changed the sign. Because this term is a positive term positive term multiplied with the negative term equals to negative. Yes, positive sir. term multiplied with the positive equals to positive term. Okay. Is that part clear? Was Ahmed? Yes, sir. Good. Now let's do multiplication with this one. Y is per time 6x cube. You will tell, tell me what value you will be getting. Sir, who? 6x cube. Was. 6x cube times y squared. That is uh, sir, now it will be six x six x five. Acha x cube of y square. You tell me, is the base same? Is x and y same thing, or are they two different al uh, algebraic numbers? Oh, sorry, uh, alphabetical numbers. Different, sir. 
they are two different alphabetical letters now so yes, how yes. can you add the powers of the two it will be just written like this right arhan yes sir it is 6x cube y square now you have y square my multiplied minus y ab kya hamare paas y square hai aur that is y square y or y cube y cube well done so minus y cube ha uh, ha um, it's not complete right now and the sign would be minus right yes getting it now so that is yes. minus y cube and now you have got ahmed you answered this to me y square times 3x square y that is ओके ना So now the last step is to arrange the like terms if there are any like terms. Yeah, you guys tell me, are there any like terms in the no, given sir. expression right now we are having? No sir. Are you sure sure about that? Yes, yeah, uh, there is no uh, like terms. And so you must uh, minus y cube. Minus oh. y cube. This is written over here. Uh, oh okay sir. Yes, it's. Huh. See. You guys tell me is minus x square y and three x square y minus x square y or three x square y. I can also write it as minus one x square y because there's a one hidden with it. One is hidden. यहाँ पर one छुपा हुआ है. So I can write it as minus one x square y and three x square y also. So are these not like terms, guys? Do tell me. हमें सिर्फ Variable part is now there, no? So they are right. So we have got. Are there any other? No. Yes, sir. No. So first of all, सबसे पहले हम लिखते हैं the term with the highest degree. Right now, वो convention होता है हमारा. So that is six x raised to the power of five. This is the term having the highest degree. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next, sir. let's do the arrangement, or we can. <coughs> Write the next biggest term. So after six x raised to the power five, which is the next biggest term? So three x raised to the power four y. Exactly. So that is three x raised to the power four y. Hmm. Now let's write this one more term. Six x cube y square. हम इसे भी लिख देते हैं क्यों? क्योंकि इसके साथ कोई और like term नहीं exist कर रहा है, right now? Yes, sir. So let's write it as it is. Was Ahmed? You guys are also getting it or not? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, okay. Now let's see. You have uh, two like terms, if you remember. Yeah, this one minus x square y, and this this one. These were the like terms. So let's write them together so that we can do the operation between them. Yeah, are uh, have we left any term here? Yes. Uh... You guys see. I have left one term here. एक टर्म मैंने मिस किया कौन सा टर्म है वो? The minus y cube. Minus y cube. So now let's solve it. Six x five will be as it is. Three x is equal to four y will be as it is. Six x cube y square will be as it is. What about these two? Ah, uh, minus x square y plus three x square y. Is it also not same as? 3x square y minus x square y. मैं arrange करके इस तरह भी लिख सकता हूँ. Yes sir. Right. And these are two like terms. Hence they can be subtracted. So first of all I will subtract the coefficient. That is 3 minus 1. यहाँ पे one है देना. Getting it was Ahmed. Yes sir. And you will write the uh, variable part as it is. So that is 2x square y. Getting it or not? Yes sir. Also the sign is plus here. So that is Plus two x square y, 
माइनस वाई क्यू ओके ना यस सर So now look at uh, is there any other steps to be done with this question? I guess yes, sir. that's yes, it. Sir. Now to match the option, as you have answered the B one, so let's match it. <clears throat> no, six x cube. Okay. The problem with this one is now it's not matching with the answer given over here. Okay. Uh, there is another option uh, that contains minus y cube. Then the B option. Okay, okay. Let's check that also. In that case, the option would be wrong. I am saying. Okay, now because the method is correct here. Right now, we haven't missed any of the terms here. Right. Yes, sir. So, guys, see, this is the required answer for such question. Uh, have uh. Is it clear to each and everyone here? Is it clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How we solve this one, right? Okay, okay, okay. Then so let's move on to next part of the chapter. Also, uh, when the chapter ends, now I will be taking I will be taking a small test of the chapter, right? Because the chapter is long and it's uh, uh, difficult sometimes for the students to contain all of the things they have studied in the chapter. So this chapter. Okay. Yeah, this chapter. Sometimes I will be yeah. taking a test for this chapter. So after this uh, chapter, what chapter will we do next? Uh, we will be doing the chapter after this. Now, um, either it will be quite little, or will be. I will be doing the chapter or as per the needs of you guys. Okay, sir. Hmm. Hey, can we do uh, profit and loss? Profit and loss. Quantities. Right? Comparing quantities. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I will. I will see to that. Okay. Yeah, Moz, you were saying yes. something. Yes, sir. Uh, our Max yeah. sir told that uh, uh, from algebra expression exercise nine point five is not coming in exam. Nine point five is not part of exam. Yes, sir. Okay, so that only that part has been excluded for your syllabus. Yes, sir. Whole exercise. Okay. Okay. The whole exercise is excluded, and also your maths exam is on nineteenth of December, I believe. Yes, sir. Nineteenth of December, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> so, see, exercise nine point two. These are very simple questions. These questions are very simple here. Huh? Some of the questions you guys can just solve verbally, without lifting the pen. Huh? Uh, without lifting your pen or without using the paper, question number two. What could be the answer of this one? Um, say minus twenty eight p p square. Minus twenty eight p square. Good. Yeah. Third one. Uh, you tell me, Moaz. Yes, sir. Third one. Uh, twenty eight minus four p. Ah, uh, minus four. Minus four p into seven means. Uh, Minus, minus, then minus 28pq. What about the power of the p? Oh. There are two p's here, no? P yes, into p, sir. that is equal to p square. Uh, p minus square, 28p uh, square, k, yeah? Yes, and q, yeah? And q, Okay, yes, Arhan, question number four. Quickly answer this one. I'm saying minus 12 P raised to the power 4. Minus 12 P raised to the power 4, right? Okay. Question number 5, Ahmed, what could be the answer? Question number 5. Ahmed is not here. Ahmed is not here. Okay, that would be what Ahmed, sorry, uh, Moz and Arhan. Zero. Four B times 0. That is obviously 0. 0. Yeah. You would be asked questions like this, as in the question number two, it's given the area of the rectangle with the following pair of monomers as the length and breadth would be what? Right now. So your pairs are given up. Your length, hai, this is breadth, this is length, and this is breadth. No, it's quotient ke under hi aapko given hai. They are not separate. See, this is length, this is breadth, this is length, and this is breadth. You have to find the area of the rectangle we know the area of the rectangle is 2 times l plus b right 
or am i wrong okay. lm to b so it's the area of the perimeter lm to b right so exactly the lm to b is the area, area of the perimeter no sir rect uh, exactly, perimeter exactly. of the rectangle Uh, exactly, it's the length of the boundary of the figure. That is simply the perimeter. Two times length plus breadth. Yes. Sir. So here we have got the area. So it will be PQ, right? Yeah. Second one will be what? Fifty mm. Fifty mm. Second would be what? The third one. Um. So uh, first of all, twenty times five hundred over. So x squared. And y square. Yes, sir. Simply, because it is unlike one to the other, that will be left as it is. Getting it, Namaz. Was answer yes, this sir. one? Yes, sir. Four x into three x square. That is. Ah, uh, twelve. Uh, four into square. three. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Four into three means twelve uh, x cube. X means cube. x into x square will be. X cube, uh, the two x cube, right? Okay, so these are very simple exercises. Or well, I believe you guys can do it yourself. Okay, for example, sir, if you were to take okay. minus nine x square y, yeah. Okay. Yes, Mos. So I am asking the all the questions are same. We should multiply them. Exactly. Exactly. The concept involved in such questions are same. You just have to multiply it. For example, minus nine x square y square multiplied nine minus nine x square y square. That will be what? What will come here? So, uh, plus eighty one x square uh, minus y square. So, Don't hurry while you are answering. Ah, uh, repeat. Uh, repeat again, Arhan. सॉल्विंग राइट Now you have got some questions where you would be given the value of the variable in the expression. Expression में जो variable होती है उसकी value given है. For example, x की value given है. You have to simplify it, right? So that is also pretty simple. X into x minus three plus two. अब कहा है कि x की value one put करनी है आपको, right now. So that be one into one minus Zero. three plus two. Zero. Minus two plus two equals zero. Minus two. Exactly, one minus three would be minus two, minus two, and that is one. So one into minus two, that is minus two, and this two, so that is obviously zero. So such questions are given, and if your calculations are good, you would be pretty um, able to solve these questions. Getting it now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. See this question here. Okay, let's do a little bit of modification. Say this is seven m. Okay. Three minus two m. You have to add it with. This is m. Okay. You have to add six m square minus two m to it, or let's say thirteen m to it. Okay. Yeah. So while adding to it, what we will be doing? Okay. First, so simplifying. Try to add it yourself. First, up to simplify. Okay. Now, okay. Now. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Simplify means you have to re reduce this form into some other form. So, this form to reduce it. Okay, Moz, getting this question now. Yes, sir. Okay, can do this quickly.
Okay, did all of you resume it to this form? 21M minus 14M square. Yeah, I'm almost done. Is everyone getting this? Okay, done. Almost done, sir. Okay, okay. <clears throat> And for you, Mozna, uh, I will have to schedule a, an extra class for, for, there will be at least one extra class for you for maths. We will have to schedule it so that you get to practice questions and you get to, uh, so that I could be able to complete the chapter for you in a proper manner. Yeah, I'm done. Getting it now? Yes, sir. Uh, because in the regular batch, no. Uh, I try to keep the class comprehensive and so that we get to practice more questions and the core concept is clear. Yeah, you are getting what value? So That's why in just one class, uh, one one chapter couldn't be completed in a proper manner. So that at least one or two class would be required to complete the syllabus for your upcoming exam. Okay, Moz. Yes. Sir. Uh, and you will be soon notified regarding the class. Yeah, what value are you getting? You guys are getting what value? I got 8m minus 8m square. 8m minus? 8m square. Okay, is that the correct way to write it? Um, yes. First of all, you have to write the term with the greatest power first. Hamas, what about you? So I am doing. Okay. First of all, do tell me one thing. What are the like terms in this? Which two are like terms? Sir, Sir and I. Yeah. Seven M and minus two M. Seven M. No, first of all, look at this simplified expression. Well, you have to simplify it now, right now. You have to multiply seven yes. M with three and two M here now. Thereby, you will be getting this expression. Now, in this, which are the like terms? Mm, sir, 14m square and 6m square. Very good. Right, Arhan? Yes, sir. And the remaining two are also like terms now. Yes, sir. So, pehle me likhunga, minus 14m square plus 6m square, right? Thereby, yes, plus 21m. Minus 13m. So that is minus, <coughs> minus 14m square plus 6m square. So thereby minus 14 plus 6. And since they are like them, I will write m square as it is. So minus 14 plus 6, that gives me? Minus 8. eight or minus 8. Minus 8, right? It's minus 8m square. And plus 8m. Getting it or not. Okay. So this is the required answer to it. Oh, uh, you do got it. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. All right then. <clears throat> also, let's do one more question. Uh, say that I have got an algebraic expression four p square plus five p plus seven. So, what should I be uh, adding to this algebraic expression? Listen to the question carefully. What should I be adding? So that I get the expression 7p square plus 2p plus 9. Which is my add karna chahiye so that I get this. So we have to assume what should x. be added to it? You could assume the x, but then why just uh, why do it in that manner? Uh, while I can simply subtract this expression from the given expression. Yes, sir. Sir, I thought it, I would make a. Uh... Equation and then like that. Yes, sir. Uh, you like that? You can also solve. Okay. Or uh, it's not. Was this question is same as like what should I be adding to seven so that I get I eight? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, it's sir. the same question. At what should I be adding to seven so that I get eight? Getting it. Now. So that is the question here. Yeah. So use your brain and then solve this question. Also, you yourself have to see which of the expression is bigger here. Okay, now, given from the example, also you can relate to the given question. 
okay be careful while you are subtract doing the subtraction because that's the main part basically main ye keh raha hu na aapko ye malum hona chahiye out of the two expression which one is the bigger one sir i'm done kyunki hame bigger mein smaller subtract karna hai yeah what value are getting so 3p square minus 3p plus 2 okay yeah moz would you like me to help you solve this one or would you be able to solve this yes sir help you would be or shall i help you help me sir okay okay no sure <clears throat> सी जब हमने कहा कि सेवन में क्या हमें ऐड करना चाहिए सो दैट आई गेट एट सो मैंने क्या किया ना एट माइनस सेवन सो दैट आई गॉट वन है ना दिस इज हाउ द वैल्यू केम सो इट मींस द वैल्यू ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड वाज बिगर नो ये बिगर वैल्यू थी सो दिस इज द बिगर वैल्यू नो सो सेवन पी स्क्वायर प्लस टू पी प्लस नाइन माइनस दिस वन माइनस फोर पी स्क्वायर Plus five p plus seven. This should have got the value. Should you uh, you should have uh, you should send the pick of the solution. Okay. Okay, sir. Ah, uh, by the way, the answer you are getting, I believe, right is correct. So seven p square plus two p plus nine minus one a upper. I'm just subtract multiply. Get now, okay? Right now. Yes, sir. So minus one into four p square means minus four p square over right. Hmm. Minus one into plus five p, yani ki minus five p over right. Hello, Davinders. Um, and that is minus seven. Yeah, it will be simply additive inverse. You be numbers who was called additive inverse, which I got. Was you know what additive inverse like? Four p ka yes, additive sir. inverse kya hoga? Minus four p because me four p minus four p add karunga four p me so that I will get zero. So yes, ये basically sir. concept होता है additive inverse का. Hmm. Good. Yes, yeah, let's continue. So seven p square. Let's arrange the like terms. Seven p square minus four p square like terms. So we will be arranging them. Okay. Two p and minus five p are like terms. So thereby I will be arranging that as well. Nine and seven, I will be arranging them as well. So that is seven minus four. That is three. And yes, p sir. square में वैसे ही होगा. Two minus five. That means minus three. Okay, right? Minus three yes, p. So, so, I have bracket me liga because the sign is different. Plus nine minus seven. That is two. Getting it. <clears throat> so we Now can I come to the a table manner also, right? We can be <clears throat> doing in the table manner also. You could do. Uh, you could use either of the two uh, methods. Okay, now. Yes, so three p square plus into minus that will be minus three p plus two. So this is the required answer, and also uh, as you said, Arhan, the same answer. Very good, that is correct. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. So this is also one of the question. Uh, do one thing, you know, take the screenshot of it. You guys will be solving it as part of the assignment. Okay. Uh, the question is very simple. बहुत ही simple question है. It's two x y times x square y upon four a. Okay. Simply you will be putting the value of two and y, and then you will be getting the answer. Yeah, shall I move ahead then? <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, okay. So <laughs> good. Okay. Yeah, is Ahmed back? No, sir. Okay. So exercise nine point three is there right now? This question is also again very simple. Huh? Question number one and question number two, to make skip kar raha hu because these are very simple. But still, question number four me shayad problem ho sakti hai. To make aunga, it will be again very simple. You can again solve it very easily. Getting it, Moz. Yes, so p square and minus q square में मैं क्या करूँगा p square को मैं term से पहले multiply करूँगा and then q square को मैं फिर multiply करूँगा and then since the operation between p square and q square is uh, minus so thereby I will be subtracting the two now right Arhan yes sir p square minus q square 
मल्टीप्लाइड फोर पी स्क्वायर टू की स्क्वायर सो पी स्क्वायर को चलो अपन मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं इससे सो टू टेल मी क्विकली दैट विल बी स्टेट वुड बी फोर पी रेश पावर फोर माइनस क्यू रेश पावर फोर हम्म हम्म सो पी स्क्वायर एंड पी स्क्वायर द पावर ऑफ द पी इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो फोर इनट और सिंपली आप पूरे को माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर भी ट्रीट कर सकते हैं वैल्यू और मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विद दिस राइट ना ठीक है और यू कुड सिंपली जब आपने बीच में माइनस साइन पुट कर दिया यू विल बी टेकिंग क्यू स्क्वायर देयर मल्टीप्लाइंग और फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस होल्ड ऑन फॉर अ मोमेंट फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस जस्ट टेक माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर ठीक है माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर को प्रेज्यूम करेंगे कि आप मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं फोर पी स्क्वायर की स्क्वायर से राइट सो माइनस की स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड फोर पी स्क्वायर की स्क्वायर सो माइनस वन इंटू फोर डेट इज माइनस फोर आएगा यहाँ पर राइट क्यू स्क्वायर इंटू पी स्क्वायर क्यू स्क्वायर सो क्यू स्क्वायर एंड क्यू स्क्वायर इट्स मीन्स द पावर ऑफ क्यू इज गोइंग टू इनक्रीज राइट ओके और मैं कन्वेंशन के तौर पे मैं लिखूंगा माइनस फोर पी स्क्वायर की स्क्वायर बिकॉज पी इन अल्फाबेटिकल ऑर्डर कम्स फर्स्ट ठीक है माइनस वुड रिमेन द सेम पी स्क्वायर व्हाई पी स्क्वायर वुड इट रिमेन सेम बिकॉज सर रिमेन द सेम सर व्हाई इट शुड बी पी इट्स द फर्स्ट नो 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 लुक हियर अभी हम क्या कर रहे हैं माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर से मल्टीप्लिकेशन कर रहे हैं ना या यस पहले हमने पी स्क्वायर से मल्टीप्लिकेशन की थी इफ रिमेंबर देयर बाय पी इंक्रीज टू ओके डिड आई लेट इट सेम ओके 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 हां सॉरी माय बैड मैंने इसे सेम छोड़ दिया था सो सो दैट इज ओके यू आर रेफरिंग टू दिस वन नाउ आई थॉट आप इसमें रेफर कर रहे हो इन दिस वन यू आर रेफरिंग हाँ, so that is a p raised to the power 4 q square, correct? Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. So look here, <coughs> that is minus 4 q square q square. Is anyone having doubt in this one? No sir. No sir. So that is minus 4 p square q square. So here is your answer. Getting it or not? Yes sir. Okay now, you can't simplify it any further. क्यों अब ये अनलाइक टर्म्स हैं पहले भी अनलाइक टर्म्स थे इवन नाउ इट इज अनलाइक टर्म गेटिंग इट नाउ यस सर यस सर हां यू गाइस हैव अ लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 हियर क्विकली टेल मी मोस 1 into 2 into 4 1 यहां पर हिडन है वहां से मैंने लिया 1 into 2 into 4 दैट इज 8 यस सर एंड देन a square into a raised to the power twenty two into a raised to the power twenty six quickly add the powers and do tell me what you think um ninety sir ninety <coughs> huh the two here twenty one the twenty six yes sir one put it this one twenty <coughs> yeah, am I audible now? Say you are audible, and it oh. was fifty. 
it was 15 actually right yeah oh see so this was 15 as i was saying 48 plus that is 50 so you can go 8 8 is to the power of 50 that is the answer right yes sir okay also